But the question is, why go on the spiritual journey? Ignorance can be bliss. Well, I will refute the argument that ignorance is bliss. I don't think depression is bliss. I don't think kaam, krodh, lob, mohankar are bliss. I don't think anger is bliss. I don't think lust and greed and desire are bliss. I don't think selfishness is bliss. I don't think misery is bliss. And this is the things that we live with every day. You might think that you have a comfortable life. You might think, I earn lots of money and I have a great life and I have all my family around me. Let's start taking all those things away from you. Let's see how much bliss you're in. How much bliss are you going to be in the moment death comes knocking at your door? The life that you've lived in inside the protective shell of your body when death comes to take that life from you, how much bliss are you going to be in at that point? Life can be bliss, but a life lived in ignorance will lead to so much pain and suffering further down the line. When the sources of your bliss start to fall away, when your family starts to die, when your house begins to crumble, when your body becomes weak, when no matter what happens in life, something inside you is so deeply saddened, so deeply affected by something that we don't even understand, by the sense of just lacking of fulfillment, that no alcohol, no drugs are going to be able to solve those problems, then I don't think that that's bliss at all. So ignorance is bliss is like saying, Living in prison is quite comfortable. Yes, it can be. But when you look out the window and you know what freedom is, at that point you will realize that you are li living in a prison.